good morning students you all are welcome to today's online class i hope you all are completed the previous class portions and you all are learned the formulas so well, listen here shall we start the today's class students all of you take your note and books let's write the example 7.21 the volume of a solid hemisphere okay hemisphere means half of the sphere is 29106 cm cube another hemisphere whose volume is 2/3 of the above is curved out find the radius of the new hemisphere okay volume of one hemisphere is given another hemisphere is 2/3 of the uh, first hemispheres volume find the radius of the new hemisphere volume is given so easily we can find out okay let us do let r be the radius of the hemisphere of the hemisphere given that volume of the hemisphere equal what is the volume of the hemisphere given 29106 okay so volume of the volume of the hemisphere equal to 29106 cm cube so volume of the new hemisphere also given volume of new hemisphere equal to 2 by 3 into 2 third given no 2 third means 2 by 3 2 by 3 into volume of original sphere 2 by 3 into volume of original sphere original sphere which means 2 by 3 into volume of original sphere is given 29106 okay so if we divide it we get here 8 nine 3 is 27 9 3 is 27 2 balance 2 and 1 21 Seven three sir twenty one zero is there two three sir six which is equal to two into nine thousand seven hundred and two. If we multiply, we get nineteen thousand four hundred and four centimeter cube. Okay, what is it? Volume of new hemisphere. Volume of new hemisphere. hemisphere what is the volume of hemisphere formula to what is the volume of sphere 4 by 3 pi r cube volume of hemisphere means half of that okay so volume of hemisphere formula hemi means half of the sphere so 2 by 3 pi r cube that is 2 by 3 volume of hemisphere formula 2 by 3 pi r cube equal to 19404 okay from we have to find the radius so r we need to find out so only r term keep here remaining take it that side r cube is equal to 19404 this 2 by 3 and pi take the, that side so 2 by 3 become 3 by 2 pi will come in the denominator into pi okay which is equal to our pi value 22 by 7 if you are using when you take this side it come 22 by 7 become 7 by 22 shall we write 7 by 22 okay 7 by in place of pi 7 by 22 okay 22 by 7 is the pi value we have changed the side so 7 by 22 which is equal to let's divide it So denominator. What are the terms we have? Nineteen four thousand four into three into seven by denominator two into twenty-two. Let us divide it using 
11 table whether it is possible or not let, let us take it 111 is 11 84 is there so 711 is 77 7 balance 70 611 is 66 4 balance 44 11 table is possible okay so 211 is 22 here listen carefully 111 is 11 8 balance then next number together take 84 7 11 is 77 7 balance next number take 70 6 11 is 76 4 balance 44 4 11 is 44 okay again further can be divide this to 2 and this value 1 2 is 2 here 8 2 are 16 1 balance again 8 2 are 16 uh, 4 is there no 2 okay further this 2 and this value okay 1 here 4 4 1 so balance let us write it remaining 441 into 3 into 7 3 into 7 it is r cube value okay so r cube is equal to r cube is equal to 441 into 3 into 7 let us multiply we get this three values let us multiply 900 sorry 9261 we need r value so r is equal to here cube is there so r is equal to cube root of 9261 which is equal to cube root of this can be write 21 into 21 into 21 okay are using uh, 3 table or 7 table we can divide it directly if you take 21 table 3 times it will get okay which can be write which is equal to cube root of 21 cube 21 cube which is equal to 21 cube the whole power 1 by 3. Cube root means the whole power 1 by 3. Square root means the whole power 1 by 2. Which is equal to a power m. The whole power n is a power m into n. 21 the cube into 1 by 3. Cube 3 can be cancelled which is equal to 21. Therefore r is equal to 21 centimeter. So radius of the new hemisphere is equal to 21 centimeter okay understand students next let's write the example 7.22 calculate the weight of a hollow brass sphere okay hollow sphere if the inner diameter is 14 centimeter and the thickness is 1 millimeter and whose density is given 7.3 gram per centimeter cube okay hollow sphere means inner outer will be there okay so inner radius small r can be taken outer radius capital r can be taken we have to find the weight okay we have to find the weight let us do let uh, small r and uh, capital R be the inner and outer ready ready of the hollow sphere given inner diameter inner diameter D is equal to 14 centimeter. So inner radius will be half of this. Okay, therefore inner radius equal to 14 by 2 is equal to 7 centimeter. Also given thickness. Thickness equal to 1 millimeter let us convert this millimeter into centimeter that is 1 by 10 centimeter okay 1 millimeter is equal to 1 by 10 centimeter outer radius is there okay outer radius hollow sphere means inner outer will be there thickness and inner radius we have if we are adding we get the outer radius outer radius capital r is equal to small r plus w 
okay so smaller we have 7 plus thickness we have w thickness only w that is 1 by 10 okay take the lcm 10 is the lcm so 7 into 10 70 plus 1 which is equal to 71 by 10 71 by right like centimeter means 71 divided by 10 is there let us divide it 71 by 10 is 7.1 it is given centimeter okay we need to find the volume of the hollow sphere volume of the hollow sphere formula is volume of the hollow sphere is equal to 4 by 3 pi into capital R cube minus small r cube. What is the formula? 4 by 3 pi into capital R cube minus small r cube cubic units. Which is equal to 4 by 3 into pi value 22 by 7 into what is r cube? What is the capital R? 7.1 the whole cube minus small r is 7 cube cubic units which is equal to which is equal to 4 by 3 into 22 by 7 into 7.1 the whole cube that is 7.1 into 7.1 into 7.1 minus 7 cube is 7 into 7 into 7 cubic units cubic units which is equal to 4 by 3 into 22 by 7 into let us multiply this 3 we get 357.91 minus 343 7 into 7 into 7 is 343 which is equal to here 357.91 1 will come okay minus 343 so here 4 by 3 into 22 by 7 into subtract it we get this two value if you are subtracting 14.911 okay which is equal to 4 by 3 into 22 by 7 into 14.911 let us divide is divide this 7 and this here 2.177 here 2 7s are 14.13 okay further this 3 and this one let us divide it 0 0.73 are 21 1 okay which is equal to 4, 4 into 22 into 0 0.71 so let us multiply this 3 values 4 into 22 88 88 into 0 0.71 we get 62.48 centimeter cube okay understood students then we have to find the weight of brass sphere okay weight of sphere we have to find out weight of the sphere we have to total weight we have to find out Weight of the brass in 1 centimeter given, 1 centimeter is given, 1 centimeter cube is given 17.3 gram. Okay, what is given? Weight of, weight of brass in per centimeter cube, it is given 17.3 gram per centimeter cube like that given so for that meaning one per one centimeter cube is 17.3 gram okay in one centimeter cube is equal to 17.3 gram therefore total weight okay total weight is equal to total weight is equal to this weight of brass in 1 centimeter cube into volume okay 17.3 into volume 48 which is equal to this two if you are multiplying we get 
नाइन सीरो ग्राम ओके दर्फोर टोटल वेट इस थाउजेंड एटी पॉइंट नाइन सीरो ग्राम्स अंडरस्टूड स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स राइट द एक्सरसाइज सेवन पॉइंट टू क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव ए राइट एंगल टू ट्रायंगल हो साइड्स आर सिक्स सेंटीमीटर एट सेंटीमीटर टेन सेंटीमीटर इज रिवॉल्व्ड अबाउट द साइड्स कंटेनिंग द राइट एंगल इन टू वेज ओके मींस एनी टू साइड्स वी हैव टू टेक इट एंड वी हैव टू रोटेट फाइंड द डिफरेंस इन वॉल्यूम ऑफ द टू साइड्स ओके फर्स्ट एनी वन साइड वी हैव टू टेक इट एंड वी हैव टू रोटेट व्हेन वी रोटेट द राइट ट्रायंगल वी गेट द कोन व्हाट इज द वॉल्यूम ऑफ द कोन नेक्स्ट वी हैव टू टेक द अनदर ऑन साइड्स एंड वी हैव टू रोटेट वी गेट द अनदर ऑन कोन Um, and we have to find the volume of that cone. Then difference in uh, that uh, both the volumes. Did you understand the question? First of all, we have to take any one side and we have to rotate uh, the right angle triangle. When we rotate the right triangle, we get the cone. Okay. Then we have to find the volume. Volume of the cone. Next, another one side we have to take it and we have to rotate the uh, right triangle. We get another one cone. For this cone also, we have to find the volume. Then both the volume we have to compare. We have to find the difference in their volume. Understood? Let us do. First, let us draw the right triangle. Here, bigger side ten centimeter. This side eight centimeter. This side six centimeter. Let us name it A B C. It is right triangle. Okay. Given. Sides of the right triangle are six centimeter comma eight centimeter comma ten centimeter. Case one, okay. Here two cases we have. Any two side we have to rotate, okay. So first, first let us take revolved about the side AB. First of all, this side, okay. A B. So we get the cone like this. Let us draw the cone. This one eight centimeter. Okay, using this side, if you are rotating, this one eight centimeter become radius. This one height six centimeter. Okay. Now, resolved about the side AB, we get a cone. We get a cone. Of what is the radius? Eight centimeter. Radius R equal to eight centimeter. Comma height. This one height. Okay, this side only we are taking and rotating, so this side will be height. Height. Height is equal to six centimeter. Okay. Let us find the volume of cone. Volume of cone. Cone is equal to what is the formula for volume of cone? One by three pi r square h. One by three. Pi r square h, which is equal to one by three into pi value. Uh, let it be comparison is there, so pi value let it be. Okay, r value eight square, so eight into eight into h value six. Let us divide it one three here two. Remaining multiply eight eight are sixty four, sixty four into two one twenty eight into pi centimeter cube. Okay, next let us take the Case two, okay. Case two. Case two. Resolve, revolved, revolved about the side BC. Okay. We get a cone of. We get a cone. So BC we are taking and rotating. So we get the cone. Likewise, we get the cone. 
so you get this bc we are taking and rotating so this way we are rotating means uh, this bc become the height ab if you are taking and rotating means ab become the height bc if you are taking and rotating bc become the height okay so like this one cone we will get to. so this is the height bc bc that is 8 cm 8 cm this one 6 cm so we get a cone of radius now radius equal to 6 cm so radius r equal to 6 cm height h is equal to 8 cm therefore volume of a cone same formula volume of cone 1 by 3 pi r square heights which is equal to 1 by 3 into pi into pi let it be as it is so you know comparison is there so pi can be right as it is r value is 6 into 6 r square no height is 8 which is equal to 1 by 3 into pi into 6 into 6 into 8 is there let us divide this to we get to 2 2 3 are 6 remaining multiply 2 6 are 12 12 into 8 is 96 so which is equal to 96 by centimeter cube now difference in their volume we have to find out difference in volume is equal to so in case uh, both case we have no in the first case we have 128 pi and in the second ca case we have the volume 96 pi both we have to separate okay so 128 pi minus 96 pi okay which is equal to 32 pi separate 32 pi now we can use the pi value which is equal to 32 into what is the pi value you know 22 by 7 now let us multiply by the numerator this to multiply we get what we get to multiply thousand sorry hundred point let us multiply and write 32 into 22 so 32 into 22 we have 704 by 7 let us divide we get with the decimal we will get 100.5 centimeter cube okay therefore what we have to find out find the difference in volumes of the two solids so therefore the difference in difference in their volume volume is equal to 100.571 centimeter cube understood students so there is a homework exercise 7.2 question number 6 what is the question the volumes of two cones of same base radius are 3600 centimeter cube and 5040 find the ratio of the height volume given and the same radius also mentioned what is the height we know what is the volume of the cone formula 1 by 3 pi r square h pi r square h is the volume of the cone formula our radius is same so both the cone r square same so what you have to write now r be the radius of the cone volume of the cone formula right okay given ratio of their volume v1 is to v2 equal to 1 by 3 pi r square height here height ratio of the height we need to find out so first volume state you take heights one next you have to take 1 by 3 pi r square heights two okay here 1 by 3 1 by 3 can be cancelled pi pi can be cancelled r square r, r square can be cancelled then heights one by heights two will be there okay uh, here v1 is to v2 is given um, what is given 3600 is to 5040 here height one is to height 2 height 1 is to height 2 is equal to this value from here height 1 by height 2 you have to uh, divide it okay this value you have to divide it you will get height 1 by height 2 value last height 1 is to height 2 what answer you are getting that answer you have to write okay then one more homework question number 7 
7 also homework. Question number 7 homework. What is the question number 7? If the ratio of radii of 2 sphere is 4 is to 7. Ratio of radii means R1 is to R2 equal to 4 is to 7. Volume is given. Okay. Uh, ratio of their volume is Sorry, find the ratio of their volume. Volume we have to find out. Only radius is given. Here sphere. What is the volume of the sphere formula? Volume of the sphere equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube. Here heights won't come. Okay. Only diameter will be a measure for height also. So heights won't come. 4 by 3 pi r cube is the formula. R1 is to R2 is that. So, you have to take their ratio equal 4 by 3 pi R1 cube is to 4 by 3 pi R2 cube. Okay. So, here R1 is 4 and R2 is 7. Both value write it and cancel it. You will get the answer. V1 is to V2 you have to find out. Okay. V1 is to V2 you have to find out. Okay. Complete it. Using this formula you can get the answer. Okay. Complete it. These are the today's question. Okay. Thank you students.